weekend, obviously, for fighting, but more so for the city. Puerto Rican Day Parade, and we have an all-Puerto Rican card featuring the likes of Carlos Caraballo, Josue Vargas, Armani Almastica, Omar Rosario, Fravian Gonzalez, Orlando Gonzalez, Christian Cruz, uh, Henry LeBron, Louis LeBron, Edgar Berlanga, Alexis Angulo. Carl Moretti, a VP of Boxing Operations. This has been happening in New York City for a long time, and this is an exciting weekend for Top Rank, uh, just coming back from Australia. And Japan. And Japan. You guys have been flying all over the place. Yeah. Um, no, we can't wait for this weekend. It started, you know, years back with uh, actually Tito Trinidad and then Miguel Cotto. Uh, you've got a younger generation now. Two, you can't find better kids than... Edgar Belanga, Xander, who was supposed to be on a card. Obviously, we send out our best wishes to him. He's still recovering. So Belanga has reached that level where he's going to headline this weekend uh, and next year and everything like that and just keep that tradition going. Uh, you mentioned Miguel Cotto. Madison Square Garden, for the first time, is going to present the Miguel Cotto Award to the, uh, the winner of the fight headlining on this historic weekend in New York City. That's something new and exciting. Why not? You know, yeah. it's, it's really come around uh, where it's that second weekend in June. It's a great sports weekend. Uh, hopefully the Rangers will be in it every year just like this. <laughs> we'll see tonight. But Saturday night, the winner of the event will get be an annual Miguel Cotto Winter Award. Yeah, it's exciting. It's a, an incredible energy already in the building, as, as Carl just mentioned, the Rangers in Tampa Bay. Game five tonight, and then obviously this huge fight weekend for top rank inside the Garden. Uh, presented by Boost Mobile, Die Hard Batteries, Advanced Auto Parts, and Bud Light. We begin at 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN+. Plus, and then we move over to the network at 11 p.m. Eastern for our co-feature and our featured uh, bout. And those gentlemen are joining me right now. Louis LeBron, Henry LeBron, Gardy, I know you are in the building to help me translate. Uh, but I want to start with Henry. You've been elevated now to the co feature ESPN Madison Square Garden this has got to be an exciting uh, opportunity for you eh, fuiste elevado al evento coestelar debe ser esta una, una eh, experiencia muy emocionante para ti pues mira sí eh, muy contento y agradecido por la compañía de, de, de esta oportunidad eh, contento esta es mi primera conferencia de prensa y qué gusto que sea en Madison Square Garden y justo antes de la parada de Puerto Rico y nada venimos a representarlos con orgullo I'm very happy with the opportunity, you know, like this is my first press conference. Uh, I'm very happy that it's uh, uh, just before the Puerto Rican Day Parade and on Madison Square Garden, so I'm here to represent with a lot of pride. I'm going to turn over here to my left to Louis LeBron as well. Welcome. Congratulations on being here. Same question. Madison Square Garden, Puerto Rican Day Parade weekend. How much does this mean to you? Misma pregunta, ¿cómo se siente de pelear en un evento coestelar durante la semana de fin de semana de la parada puertorriqueña? No bendecido, este, hemos en Boca no hay para estar aquí, son bendiciones, de verdad que contento y agradecido con 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 Ran y Spien por la gran oportunidad y nada de enfrentar nada más ante una de las peleas ante la parada puertorriqueña frente a mi compatriota que sería Henry LeBron, que aseguro que será una gran batalla la noche de del 11 de junio. I'm very happy with the opportunity and thankful with Top Rank and ESPN. Uh, I'm here to represent, you know, and fight against my uh, countrymen and, you know, put a good show for all the fans. I do want to point out Henry LeBron, Louis LeBron are not related. Uh, just so happens that you have the same last name. I do want to ask you, Louis, uh, when you see LeBron name mentioned in boxing, is it easy to follow your opponent? Because you're both talked about quite often in the sport. So when you get a, a Google alert on your phone and it's about him or you, has that helped you keep up on your opponent? Eh, esta oportunidad de pelear contra un peleador como Henry y de repente estás como coestelar, eh, ves en Google la, eh, las noticias y las alertas, eh, ¿te ha ayudado eso más a motivarte y a pelear con un peleador como Henry? Sí, seguro que sí son bendiciones, eso dan una gran motivación. Eh, un gran público se va a enfrentar esa noche, de la que, que tenemos que, hemos trabajado ya para eso. He eh, bendecido, son bendiciones que vamos, siempre las cogemos y a demostrarle al público que se va a enfrentar a frente a nosotros para demostrarle de que estamos hechos una vez más. Like, like I said, this is a blessing and I'm very happy for the opportunity and it's going to be a great crowd and we're going to put on a show for, for uh, the Puerto Ricans that are going to be in attendance uh, and we're going to show what we're made of. Gardy, thanks for being here. A couple more for these guys before we get to our co-main. Henry, your last fight, big seventh round TKO against Ruiz. 
What did you take away from that fight that maybe has propelled you into a new direction as a fighter? De tu última pelea, ¿cómo te, te piensas que eh, te ayudó y que te impulsó a prepararte para esta y para un, un escenario más grande? Pues mira, este, de verdad que fue un gran combate eh, el pasado marzo aquí en Madison Square Garden. Eh, yo creo que esa pelea me, me ha ayudado bastante, ¿me entiendes? En cuestión de, de que me vieran muchas más personas, ¿me entiendes? Vieran lo que era Henry Lebron, eh, vieron un boxeador bastante completo. Yo creo que lo que hemos hecho es mantenernos, ¿me entiendes? Eh, enfocados en nuestro trabajo. Y nada, eh, hemos trabajado muy duro para esta pelea y de verdad que creo que esto va a seguir para algo. My last fight propelled me to, you know, like do even better uh, and keep showing that I'm a complete fighter. Uh, it motivates me even more and, you know, like I'm going to show that I'm, there's Henry LeBron for a very long time. Last one for Lewis over here. Uh, you've added a loss to some fighters that never had losses before undefeated fighters that you've taken on. When you see a record that has a zero there, does it motivate you a little bit more when you get in the ring? ¿Cómo te sientes de, de, de pelear y para estar eh, preparado para el ring? Y cuanta un peleador invicto. Motivado, siempre hemos enfrentado ya a varios invictos y hemos tenido unas costillas, como él dice, seis invictos que hemos casado de nuestra carrera. De la que esto, como te dije anteriormente, principalmente es una bendición. La vamos a aprovechar al máximo. No hay mucho que decir. Este, lo, van, lo verán. Saben que siempre doy un buen espectáculo. Siempre vengo a bien preparado al 100. Y lo verán en la noche del 11 de junio. I'm going to take full advantage of this opportunity. I have faced a lot of undefeated fighters. And like I said, this is a blessing for me. I'm going to put on a show for the, for the fans. And you're going to see that on Saturday. Last one for Henry. Uh, do you feel up to this point in your career that you've been underrated or overlooked a little bit, and does this platform now give you that opportunity to get a title shot? Sientes que hasta este momento en tu en tu carrera ha sido has pasado por debajo del radar y que esta oportunidad te da el impulso para quizás coger una pelea de título mundial. Así mismo, así mismo es. Este pienso pienso eso mismo. Yo creo que he estado por debajo del radar, pero eso es lo que me ha mantenido motivado a seguir trabajando, a trabajar duro y esa ha sido una de las llaves que, que de verdad que me han hecho trabajar de verdad fuerte para merecerme este, este, este turno que tengo ahora de coestelar y lo voy a aprovechar. I have been under the radar for, for a long time, but you know, that motivates me even more. Uh, I'm thankful for this opportunity and like I said, I'm going to take full advantage of it. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on a show. Awesome. Thank you very much, both of you, for spending time with us today. All right, let's get on to our main event. Edgar Berlanga, Alexis Anjulo, Carl, uh, this is an exciting fight, uh, just, just an exciting fight. I really have no other words for it. It's Puerto Rican Day weekend here in New York. This card is stacked, and Edgar headlining. Well, I hope it's an exciting fight. I hope he doesn't fight like Steve Rolls did and try to survive as soon as he gets touched by a jab. Um, that, you know, everybody jumped on Edgar for the last fight, if you really understand boxing, the hardest guy to fight is a guy that tries to survive and not fight you. Um, Pedro Diaz and Mundo Boxing usually brings guys to fight, and that's what we want, and that's what we fully expect. As long as that happens, Edgar will do his job, and we'll have a great night. So let's hope that that's what we get in the ring. Edgar, welcome to the stage. Madison Square Garden, Puerto Rican Day Parade. I don't think it gets any better than this. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. Um... First and foremost, I want to thank Top Rank. I want to thank my team, Team Belong. I want to thank Keith Conley, Edgar Senior. Um, I'm excited, man. You know, it's uh, Puerto Rican Day weekend since the pandemic, two years. You know, and uh, I've been dreaming, uh, dreaming about this since I was a kid. You know, I feel like I, I spoke into the, in existence. My hard work paid off, and, and now we're here. Alexis Angulo, welcome. How does it feel to be here, Madison Square Garden, Puerto Rican Day Parade? Guardi, you gonna help me out? Uh, can you just repeat? My yeah, <laughs> just Puerto Rican Multitask. Day Parade, Madison Square Garden. Eh, ¿Cómo te sientes de pelear en la parada puertorriqueña y en el Madison Square Garden? Eh, primero que todo, eh, muy buenas tardes. Eh, muy agradecido con Dios de, de habernos permitido esta oportunidad. Me siento muy feliz, muy contento. Eh, y bueno, esperamos tener una gran presentación. I'm very thankful for the opportunity. I'm going to take full advantage of it, and we're going to put on a good presentation for everyone. 
Yeah, uh, Edgar, you heard Carl mention, you know, he's here to fight. Usually these guys that, that come along in this camp, they come to fight. Why Alexis? Why now? Why is this fight right for you now? Um, to be honest, you know, I feel like, you know, and my team felt like, so I really felt like, you know, he was the perfect opponent for Puerto Rican Day weekend. You know, he's, he's the type of fighter that, that comes forward. You know, hopefully he does that um, this Saturday. But, uh, you know, he's a tough, rugged fighter. You know, he makes it look ugly, comes forward. You know, he has power just like me. He's powerful. So, um, you know, it's going to be an amazing night, man. I'm excited uh, to perform Puerto Rican Day weekend. I want to come back to Alexis Gardy. Uh, you only have two losses, Zerto Ramirez, uh, Zerto Ramirez and David Benavidez. Do you feel that you might be being overlooked a little bit in this fight? Eh, solamente tiene dos derrotas contra campeones como Zerdo Ramirez y, y David Benavides. Eh, ¿Piensa que te están menospreciando en esta pelea? Este, pues no lo vería yo así, ¿no? Creo que eh, esas dos derrotas eh, me han dejado grandes enseñanzas y pues ya veremos qué resultados nos, nos puede dar para, para nuestro próximo combate. I don't see it that way, you know, I see those two losses like big lessons and we're going to see what kind of result we get in this fight. Training camp took place in Miami as it always does. Will we see anything new on Saturday that an opponent like Edgar will bring out of you? El campamento de entrenamiento eh, hiciste en Miami como siempre lo hace. Eh, veremos algo diferente y que te saque lo mejor de ti uh, para lo que traiga Edgar al ring. Eh, sí, claro, por supuesto. Este, una parte la hicimos en Colombia, la otra la hicimos en Miami. Eh, hemos estado tratando de trabajar cosas distintas, eh, siempre buscando mejorar para tener mejores y buenos resultados que son los cuales queremos. Uh, part of the training camp we did it in Colombia, part of the training camp we did it in Miami. We have been trying different uh, training, uh, you know, exhibitions and stuff like that. Uh, and see, let's see what kind of result we get on, on this fight. Thank you. Edgar, you've talked a lot in interviews leading up to this fight about the journey so far. Three straight decisions on your last three. Are you feeling a little bit of pressure to get back to the Edgar that we were accustomed to early on in your career? Or is this just part of the process? Oh, uh, yeah, it's part of the process. You know, for me, it's like, I'm, I'm young, you know, 25 years old. You know, what can I say? I have first, first 16 first round knockouts, you know, so I didn't really gain the experience I needed. Um, but definitely these, these last three fights, you know, I, I got the experience I needed. And uh, that's the most important thing, you know, to groom yourself into a, a real professional um, athlete. But not only that, at that top level, you know, you need that. You need those rounds. You need to feel like, you need to get that feeling of what's it like to get into the eighth, tenth round. And, um, we got we got that done, but uh, like I said, man, you know, this Saturday, Puerto Rican Day weekend, I'm looking for a huge victory, man. Like I'm ready to go all out. What does it mean to you and your family and your friends, everybody you hang out with on the day to day, to be able to walk into Madison Square Garden, Puerto Rican Day weekend, and headline? Uh, it's it's crazy, man, because um, you know, years ago, um. My first, one of my first fights was Miguel Cotto when he fought uh, Zad Judah. He had the garden. I was nine years old, and uh, I had my little bandana on, and you know I was rocking out. And uh, I seen, the, I seen the the crowd, how how crazy it was. And then um, I was about like 15 when uh Cotto fought, uh, or 15, 16 when he fought at the Barclays Center, and he walked out, and the crowd was going crazy. And I felt I, I caught chills all over my body. I was sitting next to Pops, and Pops was like. If we continue to work hard. And this is when I was amateur. He was like, when you, if you continue to work hard, we stay the right, the right course, we're going to be there. And, you know, ever since then, I've just been speaking into existence, you know, wanting to sign with top rank. I finally got the chance to sign with top rank. Did my thing, knocked people out, and now we're here. He's going to be ringside, and MSG has just announced this award that will take place yearly. How exciting is it uh, for both of you guys to know that he will be in attendance and the first ever Miguel Cotto Award will be presented to the winner of this fight. We'll start here. Gardy, can you translate that for me? ¿Cómo te sientes de que el Madison Square Garden acaba de anunciar que el ganador del evento estelar va a ser el ganador del primer premio Miguel Cotto y que él va a estar, Miguel Cotto va a estar presente la noche de la pelea? ¿Cómo te sientes de poder ganar ese tipo de premio? Pues me sentiría muy feliz, ¿no? Primero que todo, 
siempre trabajamos para buscar la victoria y pues adicional a eso, imagínate un premio, sería fenomenal. Eh, nada, vamos a ver qué pasa el, el 11 y, y pues estamos listos para el 11. It would be, uh, it would make me very happy. You know, we always train hard to, to get a big win. Uh, and let's see what happens on, on, on Saturday, June 11. Edgar, same to you, man. Just knowing that he'll be in attendance and this, this award is being presented for the first time ever on behalf of Madison Square Garden. Um, I want to thank everybody, you know, and also here, everybody here, MSG, all the staff members, you know, top rank, everyone. Um, this Saturday, you know, I'm glad he took the fight. You know, I'm happy. You know, um, this weekend is going to be a big weekend. You know, a lot of people don't understand, you know, the last two years, you know, not having a Puerto Rican Day weekend and actually having a fight on that weekend. So, uh, you know, I'm just looking forward, man, to, to performing, you know, exploding like I always do and bring back the old Edgar Belanga. Uh, is Jesslyn here? Jesslyn is with us. Great. Uh, Edgar, I want to talk about Jesslyn Silva, 16 years old. You've become uh, almost a mentor, friend to her. Uh, she was on path, those of you watching, to compete in the 2024 Olympics, but unfortunately a, ki a cancer diagnosis derailed those plans, and fighting is no longer in the cards for Jesslyn. But I know that, Edgar, you've, uh, you've been a part of this journey with her recently, and the WBO would like to present her with an honorary championship belt, and I know she is here. So Jesslyn, come on up here. Edgar, please do us the honors. And come on up, Jessalyn. It is so great to have you with us. Go right up front, guys. Go right down front. Edgar, I wanted to... Uh, surprise her a little bit more I, I believe you wanted to tell her that maybe she will be accompanying you to the ring with your walkout so, uh, yeah so you know I'm, I want you to walk out with me uh, this Saturday okay I want you to be in the front holding a belt walking me out cheering me on being right in front of iChamp and uh, I just want to let everybody know you know all the fighters that's fighting on this card you know that's with top rank that's not with top rank um, you know besides you know fighting for the Puerto Ricans and for your family you know we, we should definitely be fighting for this young girl right here. You know, she's she's the real fighter, you know, not us. And uh, she's fighting for her life right now. So, uh, you know, I just want to say that, uh, you know, all the fighters Saturday night to be fighting for her and all the victory goes to her, okay? Amazing. Amazing. Jesslyn, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it goes down Saturday, June 11th, right here, Madison Square Garden. Our undercards begin at 7.10 Eastern on ESPN+. Plus, and then we switch over to the network at 11 p.m. Eastern for the co-feature and, co and our main event of the evening. I'm going to ask the LeBron gentlemen to head down front for your first face-off of the week. And we will see you tomorrow for weigh-ins. As always, this is Top Rank. This is Boxing.